Hello, and welcome to another Assemble Walkthrough demo video. Today we'll be taking a look at the code review tools built into Assemble version control. In this video, you'll learn about a few points that you should consider when getting started with code review in Assembla, and ride along as we work through an example merge request in Assembla Git. Without further ado, we bring you Code Review in Assembla. Uh, just a quick note, code review is super important um, to the modern software development lifecycle. Uh, there's obviously a lot of technical integrations and technical um, tools that you can also pair with your manual code reviews uh, to help automate some of the code review process. But it's also really important that you have this team collaboration effort um, and you have multiple eyes on the code that's actually getting pushed into your production app. Um, for those of you who are more familiar with Git, uh, the merge request process in Assembla is basically the same thing with a different name um, if you're familiar with pull requests. So that's what we're going to be doing here. It's the same idea, we just use a different name that's ubiquitous and applies to all three version control systems uh, that are on Assembla. So to start with the actual code review process, um, I want some of my teammates, my team lead, Shabir, and our graphic designer, uh, Kat, I want them to give a quick look to my code before we actually merge it in. Um, to do that, I'm going to kick off a, a new merge request. Uh, I can do this from the command line, uh, but I also want to show what this looks like if you're using the Assemble web app here. One of the unique things about Assemble that's really nice is you can merge between different repositories, not just between different branches in a repository. So if you have a large team, you have multiple repositories, or you're using multiple repositories to tighten access controls. A lot of teams want uh, only specific users to have access to the actual production repository. Um, you can actually merge not only between branches, but between repositories and, and thereby introduce another layer of abstraction for um, setting permissions. In this case, uh, I've staged my changes on this branch that I created. And for today, I just want to merge back into the master of the same depot. Um, and what we're going to say here is adding features page. We'll go ahead and check this to delete the branch after it's merged. All right, let's go ahead and create that merge request. So once this merge request is created, um, the next step is going to be to actually request a review of the work that I've done. Um, in terms of facilitating the actual review process, there's a couple components here that we want to look at. First of all, when I actually request my teammates to review, they'll be able to come into the merge request UI here and look at all of the commits that I made in one single view. This isn't anything earth shattering. This is pretty common for pure code review tools uh, to be able to see rich diffs um, for the commits that I've made. Uh, obviously, to be able to make comments, inline comments, uh, so that we can uh, have a conversation if something needs to be changed uh, in context of the actual code that needs to be changed. Um, all of the same commenting features that are available in your assembly tickets uh, or in, in description fields or the assembly wiki, those are going to be available here as well. So if you needed to attach a screenshot uh, or if you needed to paste in a screenshot or if you needed to paste in a specific code reference, you can uh, add all of that rich formatted text here in the code comments as well. If there was any need to review what the actual specifications were that were added to the, the work ticket that was assigned to me, these tickets are all uh, listed here right next to my merge request uh, because when I made the commits, I actually referenced the ticket number. So on each of these tickets, it's going to show not only the commit that I made that related to that ticket, um, but it's also going to show that that ticket is associated with this merge request. So all of these things are happening under the hood automatically so that you've got 
rich contextual information wherever you are in the app while you're facilitating this process. Um, not only can you see the files and the changes there, but you can see the specific commits that I made, which is helpful uh, from a historical perspective. And then as updates get made to this particular merge request, you'll be able to see the different versions of those merge requests over time. All right, so here's how we're going to request review. I'm going to add two followers to this ticket. The first one that I'm going to add is my team lead, Shabir. And then I'm going to add our graphic design lead, Kat. All right, and then what I'm going to do is send a quick note to Shabir and Kat. That will show up in their mentions notifications inbox, um, as well as send them an email. All right, so now we can go ahead and wait for their review. Um, we have a process on our team where we require two upvotes uh, before we're allowed to merge um, new changes into master. Uh, so as Shabir and Kat come through, they'll give their review and they'll decide whether they're going to upvote or downvote, and then I'll make any changes that I need to make. Um, one other thing that's worth noting is we've set up protected directories for our Git repository here. So Shabir as the team lead is actually the only one who's able to write to the master branch of our Git repository. Um, we'll include a link in the description for how to set up protected directories for Git and SVN uh, on the Assemble platform. But this also helps us ensure that there's traceability and control over what code is actually entering production. So Shabir won't actually approve this merge request until it's got two thumbs up. All right, let's check back in uh, after Shabir and Kat have had a chance to take a look. I have just uh, seen that I received a couple notifications from Shabir and Kat about that merge request. So uh, I can either jump right there from my, notif my notifications menu, um, but also if you go to your home screen, you'll see the recent merge request. Um, and you can already see the status. Uh, it looks like there might be some changes I need to make because there's only one upvote, one downvote. But let's go ahead and jump into that merge request and see what they said. All right, so I can jump specifically to the comment that Cat made. Uh, okay, looks like I need to add a different color. That's easy enough. Um, also, I'm noticing uh, I need to add, add a semicolon there. That's what this is for. Give other people and give yourself a chance to look back at it. So I can also look at the timeline here uh, under the activity tab for the merge request. Shabir gave me a comment, but ultimately an upvote for the current status, whereas Kat said the background color needs to be updated first and gave a downvote. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go make those changes and then we'll, we'll check back in and see if we can get this reviewed uh, for the second round. Uh, you can see here uh, that we're on version 2 of this merge request. Uh, if you look at the commits tab, you can see I just made a new commit updating the background color. Again, I associated it with this ticket, uh, add background color for features page, just so that we know all the work that was related to that ticket. One thing you can notice as well, the upvotes and the downvote counters have been reset uh, because the merge request has been updated. So you can see in version 1, we had comments from both Shabir and Kat. We had these, uh, the up, down, vote and down vote count there. And uh, now that I've made some changes, uh, it's going to reset so that for this review, we can see whether or not the, the changes have passed. Um, one other helpful thing, you can reply to them. Um, sounds good. Should be fixed now so that cat knows that that's there. Um, and just as a note to her and also to myself, I can go ahead and mark this as resolved. This is just a, a handy um, way of changing the, the UI here, just so you can see it's resolved. It's not going to affect any tickets. It's not necessarily going to notify her. It just is a helpful record that um, that change that she had requested, I've now resolved it. If I had multiple changes in comments, I could go through and, and just make sure that 
use this as a reminder to make sure that I did make all the changes that were requested. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and say, let's go ahead and ask Shabir and Kat for another review. All right, and we'll check back in once they've had a chance to take a look. Both Shabir and Kat have left their reviews of my of my uh, changes. So coming back to the merge request uh, here for adding this features page, I can already see I've got the two upvotes that I needed for this to pass. Um, if I look, if I scroll down the activity, I can see looks like Kat approved my changes to the background color. And I've got my two upvotes, um, but it's ultimately it's up to your team to decide what process makes sense for for you and enables your team to achieve the level of code quality and security um, that your team needs to have for your production application. So at this point, um, I don't have any work left to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask Shabir whenever he has the chance um, to merge. In terms of communicating with my project manager or being able to see the work that was done over time, I mentioned earlier, when you make a commit and you reference a ticket number um, with the git commit message, that commit automatically gets added to the, the assembly ticket that you referenced as part of the activity on that ticket. So you can see the work that's done there, but you can also see the merge request that's associated with that ticket here on the left hand side of that ticket. And once it's merged, then obviously we'll see here the merge request has been um, closed. All right, there you have it. So that's uh, just a quick run through of some of the different aspects of the pure code review interface that Assemble offers. Again, this is available for Git, Subversion, and Perforce Stream repositories in the Assembla web app. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team at support at assembla.com. Or you can always start a chat with us right here in the chat window in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, take care, y'all. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy.